Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa. So today I'm going to be giving you some romance recommendations. Some of them you've probably heard of, some of you you may not have. So I'm going to go ahead and get right to it. The first book that I'm going to talk about is Vicious by LJ Sheen. This is a hate to love romance that goes back and forth between 10 years. It's between two characters that couldn't be any more different. Amelia is this artist's free spirit and then you have Vicious who's this bully criminal or in turn the lawyer. I read this on Kindle Unlimited which made it totally worth it but after reading it I absolutely fell in love with the story and I fell in love with these characters. I ended up buying the paperback obviously. If you love a good angsty romance, a good bully romance as well, this is definitely one for you. That bad boy in it is amazing. Just check it out. It's really good. Go for it. The next book I'm going to talk about is actually in a subgenre that not a lot of people, I believe not a lot of people know about. It's actually called Reverse Harem. It's when you can't choose a guy. It's basically a love triangle but bigger and you don't have to choose. Um, so definitely this is something that's completely out of the norm. This author actually takes this genre and makes it into something so much better. And that is Thief by C.L. Stone. Basically this is about Kaylee Winchester. She is a thief, a pickpocketer, but she only goes after people who can defend themselves. So she's trying to survive, help herself and her brother. The Academy is actually looking for her. They actually need her help with something. And it kind of goes from there. I don't want to give you too many details, but it's a lot of fun despite <laughs> the cover. If you want to try something different and you don't like just choosing one book boyfriend, definitely check out her series. They're amazing. Alright, so if you haven't heard of this book, I don't know where you've been, but it is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. This won the Goodreads Choice Awards for their romance collection or whatever it's called. At first I went into this thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be a bunch of hype. I'm not really going to like it, but I really enjoyed it. It is a story about Stella. Stella is actually on the spectrum. She has problems with people touching her, touching other people, and saying the wrong things that actually she doesn't get the social cues that other people do. This book was so funny, so lighthearted, but at the same time was a little bit deeper than you think it would be. But to tackle her issues, she ends up hiring a male escort named Michael, and you can kind of guess from there. So there are a lot of steamy scenes in this book, more so than I thought there was going to be, but it was very good, it was really fun, and definitely check this one out. So I must have a thing for bad boy characters in my romance books because the next book is Bully by Penelope Douglas. This book, let me tell you, was so much fun to read. It was about Jared and Tate and their relationship and how several years ago they were actually best friends, but something happened and Tate doesn't really know why because Jared just started picking on her. He became mean, he became a bully. And this story follows her after she comes back from studying abroad for a year. So if you like muscle cars and you like racing and you like music, this is definitely a really good book for you. What I love about Penelope Douglas's books is she has playlists that go along with each one. And so it's really fun. I, that's how I discovered some of my favorite artists is actually through her books. And it was very immersive because I ended up listening to the songs when they would mention them in the book as well. So if you want a good bully romance, if you want a lot of angst, it is set in high school, but do not be deterred because it is definitely not a young adult book. Go ahead and check this one out. The next book that I'm going to recommend is actually a young adult fantasy book that is very widely known, and that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I just finished The Wicked King the other day, and I really enjoyed it. Romance isn't exactly a main, main point in this series so far, but it definitely drives a lot of it. The main character, Jude, is a human in the fairy realm, and she's kind of having to deal with that and how to survive and be, you know, cold-hearted and wanting to find power for herself and be this strong person. And she has to face up against the cool prince. And it's really good. It's really fun if you're looking for something that is definitely very immersive but easy to get into. This is one for you. Alright, so that concludes my romance recommendations for Valentine's Day. I hope you get a chance to pick up some of these books. They're a lot of fun to read and I hope to be doing a lot more videos coming up 
And if you want to go ahead and subscribe, my link is down below. I would love to have you join me and happy reading. Bye.